Well, tonight we know it will take at least a year to reopen a, a portion of Cheshire Bridge Road in Midtown, and that follows a fire that burned out of control for hours just a week ago today. Yeah, this is stunning and terrible news, especially for those businesses. They are already struggling because of the pandemic. The fire causing a gas leak and heavy damage to Peachtree Creek Bridge. And now, as Caitlin Ross reports, the city engineer says the bridge needs to be demolished and rebuilt from scratch. It still smells like fire here at the bridge that burned a week ago today. The damage underneath the bridge looks even worse. I'm just devastated. Um, I originally heard six months to a year and I was hoping, you know, six months. OK, sure, we can hang on for that long, but a year is a pretty devastating blow. Business owners on Cheshire Bridge Road listened to a virtual update given by the city transportation commissioner this morning. None of them liked what they heard. They've had a hard time because um, underneath is so treacherous. They haven't even really been able to discover like how the demo was going to happen. And, and that's why they're predicting a year. The DOT commissioner explained the Peachtree Creek Bridge will be a total loss. We don't have the ability essentially of just rebuilding the deck. We're, we're tearing the thing down to the ground and then we'll have to start from scratch. He says the city put out bids to demolish the bridge and then rebuild a new one. A council member asked how they rebuilt a section of the I-85 bridge so quickly after it collapsed during a fire in 2017 when this one will take such a long time. It's really a, a case of apples and oranges. While the, the work on I-85 was just a tremendously successful effort, there are some key differences with our project. The first is that we're anticipating a total loss, which means that we will we'll also have to remove the, the bridge's substructure and foundations. Business owners in the area say the longer the road is closed, the more it will hurt their livelihoods. They're now forming a Cheshire Bridge Business Alliance to try and get help from the city. We're all running around calling and chasing, which is, you know, just exhausting their resources as well. They're hoping to have their alliance put together soon so they can communicate more effectively with the city and hopefully get more information about what comes next.